Good morning, Thrifty Adventures. Another Monday, another week started. How was everybody's week last week? Hopefully it was great. We had a Easter Sunday in there and it was just beautiful here in Illinois for once. Um, so it was so nice to be outside and we have continued sunshine today. So a nice, a nice um, few, few days that we had. So I am going to go over my numbers and show you a few things that we have going out. Um, I did ship out on Saturday, so I don't have everything. Um, but I think I have about 10, 15 items that I can show you guys um, that's going out today from the weekend. And I'm going to go over my weekly numbers. I'm going to switch it up and do my weekly numbers in this video. Um, I do that for my Facebook group, Thrifty Adventures, and it's just easier um, than having to try to calculate two different um, numbers for me. So I am going to um, just give you my whole week numbers. This is from um, Sunday up until today, or I'm uh, not Sunday, Monday up until this week, Monday. Um, so a full seven days there. Um, these numbers are both mine and my husband's numbers combined. Um, we both, he, my husband does not do this full time like I do, but he does have a little store, but I pretty much buy everything for it. Um, and then we just kind of decide what's going to go in his store and we, um, list it there. So it's almost like all mine stuff, but we just kind of decide, divide it into two stores and he lists it. Um, so I am going to go ahead and, um, give you those numbers. Now we have, um, 58 items going out for the week, a little lower than normal, but it kind of expected with a holiday in there. Um, $1,328.05 in sales, $254.76 in um, cost of goods, $199.21 in fees for a profit of $874.08 and an average sale price of $22.90. Um, they were pretty much all eBay. I had um, three at or three Poshmark, one offer up, and then the rest of the 54 were all eBay. So let's pop in here and get going. A puzzle. I do not really pick up puzzles anymore. I haven't done well with puzzles. I normally sit on them for a long time, even brand new. So I really don't do too many puzzles anymore. This one I got for free in a Coca-Cola lot that I bought from someone off of Facebook. Um, and it sold for $14.50. So that and we have a robotic vacuum. Um, I got this, it is brand new. I got it from an auction and this sold for $25, I believe it was. Yeah, okay. Then, I think I talked a little bit about these last week. This is one of the ones that don't sell for tons because it's just Donald Duck in a car. It's not an actual um, Disney ride like the, the elephant ride or anything like that that I talked about. Um, this one sold for $11 and my son just woke up. Then this is a... Um, are you awake? Okay, this is a Lane Bryant dress. I got this for 69 cents at Salvation Army, um, and it was a plus size. It's a 22.24. It sold for $12. Not big, um, big sale, but 69 cents into 12. I guess I could take that. Not too bad. Blanket. I have... A Victor I've sold this blanket twice, so it's actually so easy to list when I find the same item because I can just go back to that old um, sale and do a sell similar. So, so easy. I love when I find the exact item. So this is a Victoria's Secret blanket. Um, it's not too big, pretty small. This sold for $20. I think I got it for like a dollar or two at Savers. Then we have Foot Joy. Um, golf season is coming up. My thrift stores have now caught on to the Foot Joy. FJ, it'll say FJ on the back. 
Um, so they have priced them a little higher now, but they could still do really well. Um, this is, normally they can have a branding on them. That'll hurt it a couple dollars, but overall it doesn't hurt it too much. If it says Titleist on it, that actually helps the price. Um, so if that has it, make sure you're grabbing that. This one sold for 18 but I have been selling a lot of foot joys lately with golf season coming up, so that's a good brand to look out for. I wouldn't normally spend more than um, like $5 on it. Um, Robert Graham, this is one you always want to look out for. He's got the stitching in there, um, and his buttons will say Robert Graham as well as, let's see if I can find it, on the inside hemming, it'll say Knowledge, Truth, um, and Wisdom, or Knowledge, Wisdom, Truth. So always look for that. This one sold for $29.95. This is just a plain one. Um, nothing fancy about it. If you get, like... I call them ugly prints, but the crazy prints, um, those can sell for a lot more. Um, you're talking 40 to over 100, depending on the print. Um, so always look out for Robert Graham. I have a couple records. Um, out of our heads, the Rolling Stones. This one, I got a whole bunch of records for free. Um, so this one sold for $10.62. And then Thor sold for 14 When I am shipping out a record, which one, you can get actual record mailers. Um, they're just like, they're already cardboard things that cut out. You put the record on it and fold over the flaps. But if you don't want to spend the money on those or you don't have those on hand, I just take, what you want to do is take the record out. Hang on here. Oh, come on. You take it out. And you place it on top, so it's like that. And then you put cardboard over it. So you want to get a box and put cardboard on top and cardboard on the bottom. And then you can bubble wrap it or saran wrap it. And then you could just stick it right into a poly. But make sure you take it out. That'll help not tear the actual record sleeve. And then um, make sure you're putting cardboard over it to protect that. So there's those two. Put that there. All right, we have a Sony Walkman. Um, this one doesn't have the headphones. It doesn't have any of the accessories. Um, it was just this. It is working. It sold for $20, so always make sure you're looking in the electronics section for that. And then remote controls. So this is a Philips Universal remote control. Um, you want to look for remote controls. They can do really well whether they're new or used. Obviously, new will do much better. This new one sold for $40.96. Um, so make sure you are looking out for remotes. Uh, two more items. I have a bull's hat. This one, let's see what the brand is. It is a vintage hat. You could tell by the starter brand there. Um, it is pretty clean. I don't think it was really worn that much. This one sold for um, $21. So there's that. And then last but not least is a Mickey Mantle plate. These don't really sell for much. I think I sold this one for $8. It does have the certificate of authenticity. Um, the plates, I really wouldn't get... Um, Regular, even Michael Jordan, even some of the big names, um, even with the Certificate of Authenticity, they don't sell for a lot unless you have the full set. So, example, I've sold full sets of the Michael Jordan Bradford Exchange plates for $100, $60 to $100. But individual plates, I can barely get them to go for $10. So, don't pick them up unless you can get the whole set or close to the whole set. Okay, so there's that. What else did I have on Saturday? Um, some things that I had. I don't think I have everything written down, but some things that sold. I had a um, Harley Davidson trivia game. It was in a saddlebag. That sold for $18.82. I had vintage 
Disney earrings. They were the little birds from the Enchanted Tiki Room. They're little orange birds. Those sold right away for $23. I had an amazing Allie and her cat doll from the 90s. That sold for $65. Um, a Betty Boop nightlight, a cylindrical nightlight. That sold for $15. Um, and a Snoopy scrub top sold for $15. Um, that's pretty much all of the sales that happened. Um, a quick little announcement that I wanted to say. Um, there is a meetup group in Elk Grove Village, Illinois, um, on every second Wednesday of each month. It is at Jimmy's Char House. Um, me and another one of my admins in my Facebook group, Juan Garcia, will be speaking at that event on um, May 8th. So if you are interested in coming, come to come see me. Um, we'll be talking about um, thrifting and what to find and when to go full time. Um, so make sure you check that out. Um, hope to see you there. Other than that, I hope you enjoy this wonderful, hopefully it's as gorgeous by you as it is by me this week. Um, get out and go thrifting, find some goodies, get to listing, whatever you need to do. I hope you get it done and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.